Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. Iron Mountain and Westwood Boys Basketball are set to square off here in less than an hour. TV6 Sports Director Kevin McNulty joins us live from Ishpeming Township. And Kevin, the Patriots sit at 6-4, and four, some close games this year. The Mountaineers at a perfect 7-0. and oh. What will it take for the home team to stop undefeated visiting squad tonight? Yeah, Keegan, well, it'll be no easy task. For the Mountaineers, it all starts with Oscar Kangas. He surpassed 1,000 career points as a junior just last month. He's been playing really well for Iron Mountain, and they got the guards that can shoot as well, part of the reason why they're undefeated on the season. But the Patriots have a lot to keep up with them. And right now I'm joined by the head coach of Westwood, Luke Gray, in his fourth season with the Patriots. And Luke? Tonight, you guys come in at 6-4, and four, playing some pretty good ball. What's been working for you guys of late? Uh, I think one of the things is, is just the way that we work together. Uh, very defensive-orientated team, and, and in order for that to work, obviously discipline and commitment have to be two big things, and it's something that we stress a lot. Uh, those things have been working really good for us. We have uh, great senior leadership on our team, been able to correct some of the things. You know, lost, lost a few couple close games, and we're able to win a couple of those, too, and that's just basketball, right? So uh, when we can rely on our defense, it, it helps us out a lot. We're about ready to get going in the second half of the JV game right now. But, Luke, i got to ask about Ethan Marta, just a sophomore, but he's been playing terrific for you guys lately, 13 points against Gwynn the other night. What do you like about Ethan's game, and how does he help you guys? Yeah, he's a phenomenal three-level scorer. He, he can light it up at any level. He does a, a great job of running the show for us. He's smart. He understands what's going on. And one of the biggest things, too, is obviously just that freshman and sophomore year is uh, the natural uh, maturity, right? Uh, physicality, and you're more vocal in your leadership and everything like that. And he, he sees the game so well, and he's always patient and getting whatever he wants. And uh, that, that helps us as a team, and it allows the other guys to be confident on offense when they know Ethan has the ball in his hands. And one more for you, Iron Mountain coming in at 7-0. Obviously, a strong team from top to bottom. It all starts with Oscar Kangas, as I mentioned. What is your guys' plan to not only stop Kangas, but the rest of the Mountaineers tonight? Yeah, you know, it's... Oscar's obviously one of the best players in the UP. He, he's phenomenal, but his brother Reese Kangas has scored 20 plus in probably six of their games this year. Uh, Gerald run, running the point for him, he's phenomenal too. So they, they just play complimentary basketball. You can tell that they have a lot of trust in each other, and everything they do is smooth on the offensive end. So for us, it's just um, see if we can dial up some pressure, be physical as always, and, and rely on each other to. Uh, uh, help when necessary and maybe just to give a little bit extra so we can get that stop and secure the rebound. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Good luck tonight. Keegan, of course, we'll have highlights from this one and a whole lot more tonight on Friday Night Fever. I'll see you there. But right now, back to you in the studio. Well, thanks, Kevin. Should be an exciting game as well.